I'm Michael Musto, the longtime writer, commentator, and TV personality, and I'm here in my one-bedroom co-op in Murray Hill. My personal style has always been controlled and organized, and yet flamboyant and colorful. I've procured items that include good taste, high taste, no taste, and kitsch. I mix it all together, it's kind of a hodgepodge, but it's all very me. When you first walk into the apartment, I want you to be kind of enchanted and yet intrigued. You first see a sort of glass cabinet, which was $35 at a value store. You also, of course, see the fake flowers, because I love fake everything. A woman named Olga did this portrait of me, and I think it's really uncanny, and I didn't even sit for it, but it's like a photograph, it's so real. After you enter the apartment, you're in the living room, which is designed for comfort. I have a beautiful leather couch, two-tone black and white. Those eyelashes I found in the street. In New York, people leave the best art pieces just out for grabs. This is sort of the Hall of Fame of kitsch. These are all my favorite dolls. It's things that I bought for my mother or friends bought for the family. Adorable, adorable, adorable. A little weird. But it's very me. Believe it or not, old DVDs and VHS tapes. In fact, I have the world's last remaining VCR slash DVD machine. Into the living room is my work area, my computer, my desk. It's just the place where I do my thing. And I can access all my books. I think books are not only important for the information they contain, but I think they are a good design element. I've won even more trophies than Meryl Streep, and I've won a lot more than Glenn Close, and I'm proud of them. I keep them all on a very high shelf. And I have a plate I made with my mother on it. I'm a mother's boy, I'm like Norman Bates, basically, but nicer. This is my bedroom. It has a wall unit which consists of archival things. Also, more dolls, religious items from my mother. One of the few designer things I actually own is the bedspread, which is by Miss Sony. But don't be afraid, I got it through a Miss Sony H&M collaboration. It was super cheap. And of course, the M&M pillow adds just the right touch to say I'm not that serious. In the bedroom is sort of a, a big golden girl with a glass tabletop that I got in a wonderful furniture store in Harlem. And I thought, what can I put on top of that? Well, in another store, I found this sort of bejeweled looking blue bird. So I put that on top. And to me, that's a very Michael Musto piece. What apartment is complete without an Audrey Hepburn as Holly Golightly doll? Uh, golden Girls, one of my favorite shows of all time. I have all kinds of merchandise. I fan myself with the Golden Girls. This is a portrait of me by Olin Montgomery, and what he did was he took a Polaroid and then painted over it. That's why it looks so much like me, but he did a great job of interpreting it. This is by a guy named Zito, and it's a portrait of me on a tabletop, which is so perfect, I can eat on myself. I think my design choices are quirky and unique, but obviously they work for me. I've put my imprint on every square inch of this place. In fact, I do that with everything I do. Thanks so much for coming to visit. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. How about love? Share these homes, you know?